Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you guys a few little hacks and DIYs for preparing for postpartum for breastfeeding. And I'm gonna have a few more tips in the description below, like some supplements that I recommend and different tips and tricks. But obviously this is just from one mom to another. Um, I'm not a professional, but my first tip is to get a free breast pump. Breast pumps are really expensive and a lot of times insurance covers it. So um, if you go on to this website called Edge Park, which I'm not sponsored by this company, I actually just heard about it from a friend and they recommended that I go on, you can put in your insurance and your doctor and they will go ahead and contact your doctor and get a prescription for a breast pump. You can choose from a variety of different breast pumps. I went ahead and got the Medela, Medela. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it, sorry. Um, Medela Breast Pump, which those are really pricey. And then they went ahead and just shipped it right to my door and I got it. I didn't have to pay anything for it, copay or anything. And so that's a great resource if you want a breast pump. You don't have to put it on your registry or buy it. Um, your insurance often will supply it. So look into that website. And then when you get it, just make sure that you take all of the parts out and familiarize yourself with your breast pump before it's time to use it. I personally found my breast pump to be invaluable with my first child and I wanted to try a different one for um, this baby and since it had been three years since I had had a baby, my insurance provided another one for me to try. So I wanted to try this particular one which I had used in the hospital when my son had jaundice, they provided this for me to pump milk. I wasn't able to hold him and my milk supply wasn't coming in because I wasn't able to breastfeed so it was really important to get that start with a breast pump. So I'm refamiliarizing myself with this particular one. It comes with nurse pads and pretty much everything else you'll need. It comes with two breast shields which this is what goes around the nipple and then it comes with connectors which these connectors are going to obviously help connect it to the device itself and then it comes with two valves and two membranes. Now it also comes with an additional two membranes in case one of them becomes ripped or torn and those go onto the valves. As you can see here, I'm just going ahead and putting them onto the valve and the valve is then put onto the connector like so and then I'm going to show here again that I'm putting the membrane on the valve itself and then the connector is connected to the breast shield. Now before I do any of this, you wanna make sure that you boil all pieces that will come in contact with milk. The manual will instruct you to do this, so I highly recommend reading it and familiarizing yourself with everything and also how to set it up. That will explain it even better than I could in this video. Each breast pump is a little bit different in the parts that you need to sterilize, but pretty much across the board, it does recommend that you boil the parts before. And then from then on, you wanna make sure you have a bottle cleaner. Um, I like this one by Dapple. My friend actually gave it to me and you can use that to clean all the parts that come in contact with milk from that moment on after you've started using it. For this breast pump, I have a face plate, which is what this is called, and you have tubing ports, a port plug, and then tubing. So I'm just putting the tubing into the tubing port and then you have the power adapter so you're going to have to plug it in. You have an on and off button and then an increase and reduce vacuum so you can basically increase the suction and then a let down button. All of this will be in the manual but hopefully this can serve as an additional visual. Next, I'm gonna share with you some tips for storing milk. Obviously, I highly recommend getting milk storage bags. You can find these at Target. They're only a few bucks. And basically, this is a place where you can pump directly into the bag, and you're gonna write the date that you pumped your milk into the bag, and you can store it by freezing it. Now, you wanna lay them flat in the freezer to freeze, but then once they've had a chance to freeze, you can store them in an old soda container, or in this case, I have a sparkling water container, and you can put them in order of date so that you you can access them easily. So next we are going to be making a DIY booby butter. You can find these all over the place but they're actually really easy to make and I've made um, DIY body butters and things on my channel before. This is really easy so for this all you need is three simple ingredients melted together over a double boiler. I have some beeswax, shea butter, and coconut oil. So the beeswax is going to help lock in the moisture into your skin. Look for a really clean shea butter. You just want pure shea butter which moisture moisturizes and protects the skin and then coconut oil which is going to help regenerate the skin
Once those three ingredients have had a chance to completely melt, I'm gonna pull that off the double boiler. I'm gonna let it cool down for just a minute or two and then I'm gonna pour that into a heat safe container and let it completely solidify. And I'm gonna put that in my postpartum basket. I discussed the things in my opinion that I feel like I need after I have a baby in my hospital bag video and I made a postpartum basket. So if you wanna know some of the other things that I recommend, you can check that video out. But um, something like this is really important if you plan to breastfeed because dry cracked nipples are a real thing and it can hurt and be painful and so something like this can be really helpful and moisturizing and just making it feel better and you know which ingredients are in what you're putting on your skin. Next, we are making a DIY lactation support cookie mix, which um, you want to make sure you have your calories up and you are eating a good amount when you are breastfeeding. And these mixes are all over Pinterest. I have used these before. So you can also put this in the postpartum bag or basket. So in a small bowl, I'm combining flour, sea salt, baking soda, and baking powder. And then in a separate small bowl, I'm gonna combine the rolled oats, flaxseed meal, and the brewer's yeast. Brewer's yeast is supposed to help increase your milk supply. Now, nutritious foods are just one component to help increase a healthy milk supply. Pumping, drinking lots of water, and trying to get as much sleep as possible. Um, you know, there's a lot of other things you can do, and I'll put some more of my tips in the below, but this is great to make for yourself as a special treat to help increase your milk supply, um, but you can also make it for someone else, and, and it's a great kind of gift for a mom who is looking to do that. So if you're a friend or family member and you want to make these cookies in a jar, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start layering in the jar so I have some brown sugar. I'm gonna put some of the flour mixture in for the second layer. I'm gonna put some chocolate chips. I have some vegan chocolate chips that I'm gonna put. And then I will put the instructions on how to actually bake these. So once you give these as a gift or once you have these finished, you can go ahead and bake these and you can have these lactation cookies. Finally, we're gonna make a lactation support smoothie, which is kind of similar to the cookies in the sense that it's supposed to help increase your milk supply. So I have one cup of milk. In this case, I have some coconut milk. I have some oats, and then I have some ground flax seed. I'm going to add some peanut butter and some frozen banana, and then a little bit of chocolate mix. Add a little bit of brewer's yeast again because that is supposed to help your milk supply and increase your milk supply. I'm gonna add some ice and I'm gonna blend this up and this is a great quick way to um, increase your calorie intake and try to boost your milk supply. Plus it tastes really good. So um, I will put this in the description below. Try these out, hopefully they can help you increase your milk supply and also check out the other recommendations that I have. Obviously just from a friend to another, from one mom to another, again like I said I'm not a professional professional but these are things that I like to try to increase my milk supply so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you like my channel please be sure to subscribe check out my last two videos and I will see you guys in the next one bye